Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to faces back to another Stormworks search and rescue video. Today we are actually going to be doing something that's kind of cool. Uh, and what it is, is we are going to be building a amphibious vehicle. Now, obviously this thing right here is an amphibious vehicle. It is a boat with tracks on the side, and that is it. This is very simple though, and we do want to change it. So, we are actually going to be building a whole new design, and hopefully we'll come up with something nice, and uh, yeah, maybe something kind of simple as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and get building, and hopefully, it'll work. Also, I do know that I said the name of the game wrong. I said Search and Rescue, and it is actually called Build and Rescue, but, you know, we've mixed the DLC with the actual game, and I'm sure that's fine. But anyway, let's start building, shall we? Okie dokie, so the way that I want this to work then is we're actually going to go ahead and have a platform on the top where people can stand. I honestly don't want this to be too big, I want the whole vehicle to actually be pretty small. So we're going to have the whole bit be like that, that's pretty good. Uh, the little area where the captain will sit is actually going to be this big, so from there probably to about he maybe one more. To about there, that seems pretty good, and then the front deck itself will probably be about that big. Uh, and honestly, that is a pretty small vehicle, so I think it'll work. I do. I think this will work quite nicely. Okie dokie, so it is now my job to actually make this look like a boat, but also look like a vehicle that would work on land, uh, and then make it work as both. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, but uh, let's try it. So this is going to go on the front just like this. That's pretty awesome. We're going to then delete those guys, and honestly, maybe not. Maybe we won't. Uh, maybe we'll actually keep those guys. Then we'll put this piece on like this, and we'll drag this backwards like so. Uh, and I honestly think that that is a pre pretty decent start for us. Because, uh, yes, it somewhat looks like a boat. Uh, and yes, it will actually work as a driving vessel too. So then we'll do something like this down the sides. And that works. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright, but there is a little bit of a change to this that we will have to make, and that is the fact that it is actually going to come up uh, for a deck. So we're going to put this right here like this, that seems pretty awesome. Uh, we'll drag this to it like that, that's pretty cool too. Uh, and this will be a deck right here, so this is where the people will be able to stand. Okay, kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully this will work. <laughs> I really don't know whether it will or whether it won't, but I I'm assuming uh, that we can actually get this to work. So we'll put it there like that. And that seems pretty sick. There we go. That's awesome. Uh, we'll then attach, obviously, these pieces, because we should. Uh, and those are going to go on there just like this. And we'll attach it together at the front uh, just like this. Bam! There we go. That is awesome. It will work. I I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping that it will work. All right, cool. So then we're going to do something like that. That's awesome. Uh, we then obviously have to grab these guys uh, and put those on like this. That's pretty epic. Uh, and then we'll obviously do this on the bottom. So that'll go there like that, all the way to the back, and that'll be A-OK. -okay. So this is looking pretty strange. I'm not going to lie. It does look weird, but we're going to keep it. Yeah, we are. All right, so with that being said then, let's go ahead and block these up as we should. So this is actually going to be sealed all the way to the front like that. The cab is going to go in somewhere around here. Uh, and essentially, that's just going to be like... Uh, well, it's going to be open. So delete all of that right there. Delete all of this to the front, because it's unnecessary. Uh, and that is A-OK. -okay. We're then going to drag this down to there. We're going to seal it all off like this. And we're obviously going to seal this bit off too, because we should. So there we go. That's going to go there, all the way backwards. And that is pretty sick. OK, cool. Bam, whack that in there. That's awesome. Right, is this going to be able to work though? That is the question. That is definitely the, my question anyway. Right, okay, so let's say we had a medium or a middle bar, like this one, that went all the way back there. Uh, we need to attach the tracks onto there, because it is going to be tracks. So let's type in tank, and we'll see what we can do. So I'm thinking mediums, uh, which is kind of interesting, but we'll see. All right, so mediums. Uh, yeah, all right, delete that, put it there. Okay, that does actually fit somewhat. That's pretty good. We can then obviously have these as we go along, so one there, uh, well actually, one there, and then probably one at the back too, somewhat like that. That's pretty sick. Alright, spawn it in, what does it look like? Yes! Alright, that is kind of interesting. I like it. Okay, so if we do have it like that, I don't know whether we want them to actually be able to get pushed downwards. 
because uh, in my head, them being able to get pushed downwards does make sense. So we'll actually fill that in like that, and we'll somewhat seal them up. I don't know how to do that, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like we need to seal them up properly, otherwise we'll have some sort of flooding issue. And we don't want any flooding issues, we don't. Uh, one thing I do want to check as well, is whether I can box this off in the center, somewhat like this. Alright, because if we can box these off, then that would be great, because then we'd have a little bit more flotation. And that is exactly what we need. Alright, so somewhat like that, that's good. And box it off like this, obviously we don't want that to seal up, so we'll do that. And we'll do this. Alright, cool, so if I can do that, that'd be great. But I'm thinking that it won't work. It does work! Nice! Okie dokie, so that will honestly work just like that, and that is perfect, because now... Uh, honestly, we just need to seal this off uh, just like this. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll then obviously seal it here as well. That's awesome. Uh, we'll seal off all of this one also because we should. Uh, we should have this uh, be floatable. Floatable. So we'll do that. There we go to there. And this up to the same place. All right. Awesome. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we can then obviously seal this off uh, on the bottom as well like that. That's pretty epic. We'll do this guy as well, and yeah, that works. That totally works. All right, so, so far, so good. All right, so now that we've done that, we're actually going to go ahead and seal these bits off as well, just like so, uh, and that will be pretty good too. There we go. We'll put this piece down there, and we'll seal this in so that it fits, and that will be great. There we go. Bam. Okay, so now that we've done that, honestly, we don't need these. We don't need those pieces at all. Um, we do need these, but honestly, if I make it want it, oh, if I want it to float, we'll do that. There we go. We'll delete this and we'll put this in as well. There we go. We need somewhere for the engines. I'm not going to lie. We do need somewhere for the engines, but I'm not sure where. I'm not sure where the engines will go. So this is going to be tricky, but we'll try our best to make it work. All right. Put that in there like that. That's all sealed. Very good. We then need to do a similar thing for this piece all the way across there. And a similar thing for this bit. All the way to there. Okay, so we got a tube down the middle that is floaty. We got these side pieces that are also floaty uh, on both sides. There we go. That's awesome. We need some weight saving, which is going to be these pieces. That's good. And this is all going to be sealed up. Okay, so seal that like this. Seal all that up there. And possibly even this bit. Okay, good. Um... I guess, actually, with that being said, we can delete this, 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 and these two. Uh, and we can actually have the flooring a little bit higher. So if I did this, and this, and also this, there we go. Then the flooring actually goes here, and that'll be fine. This is where our little cab's going to go, too. All right, so now we actually need a little bit for the engine. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I am not going to lie to you guys. I really don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Uh, but what I am thinking is we delete most of this down here, which is in the center. We then fill it in using this guy uh, all the way to there. And that gives us a little bit more buoyancy. That's awesome. All right, if I filled this in and I filled these guys in and I filled this in, will it float? I think it would, but we don't have an engine. However, that doesn't matter if I can actually get a motor in here. So we might be able to put it in the front. But what we'll worry about now is actually a pipe. Uh, and we'll see if we can get this driving first. So we're actually going to go ahead and put this on here like this. Get ourselves a little motor. And we should be good. Bam. There we go. That's it. That is literally it. That should work now. Uh, right. A seat is all we need now. So one of these could go right about there. That's awesome. Uh, and we could fit all the windows around it. And that'll be great. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we actually attach this onto here like this. One, two, maybe even three. There we go. We do something with this as well, somewhere across that. And we'll probably put a window in there. And we'll do this as well, because we should. And honestly, that'll fit onto there. So this will be one more. Yes. All right, there we go. Um, and we'll probably just have all the windows fit to that. So windows, if I can put these in, we need an angled window 3x3. Three three, and that'll fit on there right there like that. That's pretty good. We'll put this guy in as well, just like this. And that looks weird. It looks horrible. I don't like it. <laughs> it looks horrible and I don't like it. So we're not going to have it. Um, possibly diamond windows. They might work. They might work for me. Or maybe not. Maybe they don't work. Uh, I don't know. I want them to work. Because they would look cool. There we go. Like that. 
Honestly, like that, but smaller. Because they're too big. Alright, so maybe this one. But put on there like this. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, I can't tell what's going on. I guess they'd go on there like that, but that's weird looking. Alright, I need to figure out windows for the front. And we could even just stick one of these on, just like that. But that looks weird too. I'm not sure what I want here. Or we can have it so that it looks a little bit more militaristic. And we actually have small windows. So we could, in theory, attach these onto here like this. Alright, so we have a single window up there. Which is actually a 2x2. Two two. Alright, we'll put that inwards. There we go. Uh, and that makes it look, definitely look militaristic. Alright, that's good. And then we can actually have a 3x2. Right there on the front. Okay. And then we can have it somewhat like angled on the front too. Like that. I think that looks cool. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so then we could do something like this down the sides and fit it all together. So then we just need one of these guys to go in there. That's pretty awesome. We then angle these guys upwards. One, two, one, two. And possibly even this bit as well. There we go. And we'll seal this bit on as well. Alright, bam. Okay. That looks weird. <laughs> looks really weird. I don't know if I like that. No, that looks dumb. That looks silly. I don't like it. All right. Or oh, we do a different idea and we actually get rid of a chunk of this. We get rid of a chunk of that and we actually have a walkway down the outside so that we can we can somewhat walk down the outside. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, that does make more sense. We'll get rid of this as well and we'll fill it in like that. Okay. We're then going to get rid of this guy as well. And I think I want a helm. Yeah, I do. I think I want a helm instead. Uh, so we can actually see what's going on a little bit easier. Bam, put it there. All right, good. So seal that off there. Do something with these guys uh, like this. There we go. Seal that off to there. Delete all of this. Put that in. That's okay. All right, good. I'm not very good at making these things work uh, properly, though. Uh, then, okay, we're going to see if this even moves. So we'll put that there. Get ourselves a battery. Whack it in there somewhere. I don't know where. Probably in the middle. Okay, there we go. And we'll see if it even works. Because it might not drive. I think it will, though. I think it will. Alright, cool. Spawn it in, let's go. It looks weird, I know. But I kind of like it, so we'll keep it for now. Alright, jump on. Do, 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 do. Does it drive? Yes, it does. Okay, fantastic. As long as we know it works. That's great. Okie dokie. So, yes, that is great. Except, I, I feel like it's still a little bit too high for me. So if I can delete this, and I can actually fit it lower, that would be perfect. But then we have to delete most of this, and it also means that it has to go lower here. So how low can I put it, while also not interfering with anything below it? Uh, so helm? Let's grab one. Alright, then we'll see. So if I can put this really low like that, that would be great. Because then it doesn't have to be that high with this piece. And that would be perfect. Honestly, that would be great. Alright, so if we did do that, we'd just delete this piece right here. We'd put this in like this. And we'd seal it up using this. All the way to there. And honestly, all the way to there. Delete this guy. Put it in. Delete this guy. Put that there. And that would be it. I think that's better. But obviously that was really, really slow. So we'd end up like making it a little bit better than that. Uh, we'd put a gearbox in and everything as well. Uh, but actually, it would be running on... Well, would it be running? What would it... How would it run? <laughs> That's our question right now. How would it run? Uh, it'd probably be electric diesel. So we'd have it running on the electricity to begin with. At least a little bit. Or maybe just this would be running on electricity. I guess that works too. Alright, so let's say that's W and S. And this is, I don't know. 3 to 1. Alright, which is kind of insane. Let's go. Alright. I like it. I think it looks cool. I do feel like the tracks might be a little bit big for it, though. I'm not going to lie. But half tracks would still look really weird as well. Uh, but we might end up, like, dropping down to those. We'll see. Anyway, let's get it moving. All right. Yeah, it works. All right. Okay. I'm happy with this. All right. So then your question would be, what is it actually used for? And I, my answer would be, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why you would use this at all. But it is a vehicle that we can use. So if we somehow fit... Uh, ooh, they're big, aren't they? They are big. If we can somehow fit an engine on the back of this, I would be super happy. So, let's go ahead and make a little platform for an engine. And the engine would just be a small one. There we go. And we'd put it on there like that, probably. Okay, good. 
Would we? No, we wouldn't. We'd probably actually put it in there like this. And do that instead. And then we'd actually have our radiator and stuff somewhere, probably above. Uh, we'd have our... Mm. Actually, if that's the case, we'd probably fit it like this. Yeah, we'd probably fit it like that instead. So we can have our radiator on the top. We can also have our exhaust coming out and our fuel going in. And that would all work. Alright, cool. Alright, seal this off. Alright, fully. So, probably like this. Alright, very good. Seal this off as well, all the way to there. And honestly, we'll actually probably round this off too. Just there. So, this will go in here like this. We'll drag it round. Probably as much as there. And then we'll do this. Meow. Okie dokie, all the way to there. That's very good. And we'll do this piece. Alright. Bam. Alright, bam. There we go. Still don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Like, this vehicle is just in my head. I, I haven't really designed it at all. Uh, these might have to move down. I feel like that, that should be the case. But Because otherwise, we're going to have to have, like, very, very soft uh, inclines that we have to go up. And that's just not the best. Not for a vehicle like this, anyway. Um, right, okay. So, our fuel tank can go probably at the very back. So, we'll have to make this go round and then back here, which would be fine. We seal this off like this. That's pretty good. That could be our fuel tank right there. All right, that's good. All right, so this is our fuel tank. Good. Let's uh, delete some of these things and put the fuel in. Fluid. We need a fluid port. Uh-uh-uh. All right, but we need a spawner as well. So we'll spawn this in. Fluid right there. Very good. Uh, we'll have our meter as well in there as well. Bam. And we'll have our fluid... Oh, I don't know how to do this. I'm not sure how I want to do it. Uh, but that's okay. Right. Heat. We need an electric radiator thingamabobby. That can actually go right there. We can sort of implement it in with everything else. That's okay. Let's get some pipes and just attach those on. So, straight pipe. Bam. There we go. Have it go backwards as well. Angles. There we go. And we can have it fit together just like this. Bam. All right, cool. So, that is our... Our heat thingamabobby on the back. Awesome. Right, our exhaust. Um, I actually want the exhaust to go to the center and then up. So we'll actually do that. So, angled pipe. Inwards. Alright, and then this way. And then upwards. And hopefully that's in properly. Let's check. Yes, it is. Alright, good. And then we can straight pipe it straight up. And that's alright. Bam, 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 bam. Fluid. Uh, fluid port. Yeah, or we could just have an exhaust. Bam. All right, okay. This will end up looking way better, don't you worry. All right, cool. So, let's say the fuel goes up here like this. All right, it then angles backwards. It then goes straight backwards. It then angles inwards. And then goes into the top of this. Bam, just like that. Just like that. Okay, cool. No, this is fine. This is fine. There we go. And then the fluid port can actually just go straight on there. All right, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. So our engine is contained in this tiny little block at the back. That's pretty epic. Yeah. All right, so we'll obviously make that look better. We'll make the rest of the boat thing look better as well. Uh, but that should honestly work. All right, let's save it as... I, I don't really know. Amphib. Amphib. There we go. And we'll spawn it in the water, and we'll see what it floats like. Okay, watch this just sink straight away. Oh, God. Okay, it sank straight away. We need to come up with a reason as to why it sank straight away. There is a massive hole in it. That's why. All right, there we go. Because we had a huge hole in the front. It sank. All right, try again. Oh, definitely a lot more floaty. Hell of a lot more floaty. And it almost floats at the right place, too. That's great. That's really good. But no, we need more floatiness. So we're going to get ourselves a pivot and we're going to make it float a little bit better. We're going to use the pivots just because we can. So we'll attach one there. We'll have one there. And honestly, we'll actually have one at the back as well. So we'll do we'll do one here and one here. Here we go. All right, good. Spawn it in again. Is it going to float better? That is the question. All right. If it doesn't float too, too much better, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get rid of the massive tracks. And we're going to have to replace them with smaller ones. And that's it. Yeah, okay. No, we can do that. We can totally do that. And this is what it floats like with me on it. Okay, yes. Awesome. Right, so we're going to leave it as is for right now. That's pretty awesome. 
Uh, and hopefully in the next few videos we can make it look a lot better. Uh, we'll probably end up painting it a little bit better. And uh, it'll end up working as well. So that's that's actually really, really good. Nice. I like it. Alright, okay. So um, with that being said though, I am going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to delete this. And what we're going to do is we're going to block that up right there. We're going to put this on. We're going to block that up. Okay, and we're actually going to get a pipe. And we are going to block this one up as well. There we go. And we're going to get tank. Here we go. We're going to get the tiny ones. And we'll use these. Alright, so there we go. It gives us a hell of a lot more space on the inside, which is perfect. So we'll put that one there. It also... Hmm. That's a problem. It needs to go lower, too. They need to go lower. Which I suppose is fine, but... Yeah. Alright, okay. Pipe. Let me just sort this out real quick. So it's going to come down using this guy. And then it's going to come out. And then it's going to have tank tracks. Tank tracks, please. All right, small. Uh, probably a cog at the front. Okay, we'll have one here. And we'll have one here. And these are going to be the small ones, obviously. So one there, one there. And that's all good. But it does mean we can actually delete all of this. Put that in there like that. Seal this bit up. Wait, how does this work? Delete all that. Alright, put a piece in there. And then seal this instead. Okay, no, that's good. That's perfect. Alright, delete these. There we go. And seal this bit instead as well. Okie dokie, there and there. That's awesome. Um, We don't need that, do we? We don't need that. We don't need this space. All right, very good. Uh, and then I just need to get rid of, like, all of these walls and build them in one. That's all I need to do. So this can come this way. That's it. All right, good. Build six blocks in, and we have saved ourselves a lot of room. All right, there we go. Nine blocks, actually. All right, delete all of these. Fill them in this way. One. There we go. Delete all of these. Fill them in that way. One. And then delete all of these. Fill them in this way one. Bam! There we go. It doesn't mean we can get rid of this and this and this as well. Somewhat. Alright, cool. Uh, get rid of all these. And fill them in there. And probably something at the front too. But we won't do that just yet because I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. What's all this? That's the floor. Alright, we don't need these guys. We don't need this guy or this guy. Fill that in. And there should be a lot more floatiness now. Go. There's a hole. I've left a hole somewhere. All right, but like it is, it is going to be fine. All right, this is a hole. This is a huge hole. All right, there we go. Have I left? Is, is anything else? Look, it should be all right now. All right, it floats. Way nice. And it floats higher. Just a tiny bit. Okay. That's, that's perfect. Good. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Um, and hopefully in the next one, we'll end up doing a, a lot better job making this thing work and getting it out into the ocean. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.